Hi dear viewers, this is Arash Kamali with another session of the website programming course under Python programming language and the Django framework. Again, as always, a very warm and heartfelt welcome from me. In this section of the tutorials, we are going to work with the QR codes and produce QR codes through Django and Python codes. Okay, QR codes are pictures such as these uh, that are a picture or a SPG that contain a series of data, for instance any one of these QR codes that you see on this page that are scan when scanned by the QR code a scanner on your cell phone or anywhere else uh, you would be able to see some information or data for instance you get connected to a website link or you will be able to see the price for an item or the information for company anything that can be set in codes can be set inside a QR code and that's basically what it does so uh, as you see the QR codes can contain a series of information and when we scan them with a QR code a scanner uh, then we will be able to get their information now we want to make this QR code on our site for instance here in the news section in each news we have made a short link we can make a QR code for our news containing this link or the same code uh, so that when we scan the QR code with a cell phone a scanner or any other scanner that can read a QR code we would be able to go to this part or we will go to different parts of the website or it shows us a message it depends on you we are going to show how QR code is made in Django overall and as a whole uh, first we need to download and install the necessary packages so here we are using Django QR code so uh, what we need to do is that we need to install the necessary package the Django QR code and use it alright using the command pip install alright Django well on the line QR on the line code the package will be installed all right now it has been installed I run the server again now Django QR code has been installed and it is ready for me to use okay the next thing that I want to do uh, in my project in the install app section uh, let's see I add this package there as well here and let's see in the install app QR underline code is imported okay up to now we have set up the pre-requirements now we are going to use it using QR code in Django is of course very simple as you would see uh, you can do it in less than one minute here uh, in the let's see I want to enter the news detail page news add okay the details and I should look for it in front perhaps yeah here news detail okay uh, we want here let's see after the news this is the news that has been set up here and this is the link 
that we have made now here we want to set up the QR code the QR code that can be used for anything a link or anything that you might need uh, first we need to load QR code in order to be able to use it here in this page uh, we can either load it or we can load it on the master so that we will be able to use it on the whole side but if we just want to use it on one page uh, we don't need to do that probably uh, we don't need to set it in the master I say load QR yeah code all right now I can use it anywhere on the page to make a new QR code yeah and I go to in a bracket and two persons in between them QR I write QR on the line from on the line text now the text that I want it to show for instance hello now if we scan the QR code that we just made here we will see the hello text and then we can give it a size for instance size 20 yeah a border border would be six yeah six is the number for the border and let's see how the QR code looks now yeah it looks like this we can of course change the size a little bit and so that it looks different now on the scanner this value the hello that we wrote is being shown now this information of course could be anything anything that you write can be shown through a QR code now I have set it up as a string we can remove it we can set a variable that we have sent from view or anything else now I can remove this all uh, let's see now the address that has been made here for instance this part the link is set over here but of course right now uh, it's just a number I refresh the page and error let's see what the problem is why the error occurred yeah mm, yeah that's it let's see here we didn't need to set it inside a bracket when we are writing or setting a condition in a bracket uh, and want to use one of the variables we don't need to set it inside a bracket now I set it set I dot rand now if someone scans this a random number will be shown or you can set a link or for that matter any other data or I can hit control Z and set it up so that it returns a text and information on a company or anything else uh, we can make such a QR code with different sizes now I change the size from 20 to 10 and let's see how it looks now as you see our QR code downsizes and now in order to make a place or make a uh, setting more beautiful after the tags first let's find the tags where are they yeah here there they are the tags are over here we make a copy of this and after tag and call it QR code okay and I said the QR code over here let's see that's right let's go down a little bit and i set the see yeah remove this as well the size is changed to 20. okay now 
let's see what we got as you see now the QR code has been set over here now every news has a QR code now we can make the link as well we use the same one we use the same link that we used here okay we can use it again the same code that we just used all right in order to make a qr code from a link here we use the name of the function news detail that's right and let's see but in the news app let's check it out in the url here let's see we don't have news detail in the url it is not there uh, we want to find a function so that we can use its link for the QR code. Yeah, let's see if we can find it. Yeah. All right. Link. All right, here. Yes, that's it. Well let's see this is the news detail url slash and the value yep and we can in the qr code it was over here the urls yep they were here okay let's see and we can make it here or we make the urls here or we can do something else uh, second option in the view that is here uh, let's see in the view news detail okay here in the news detail the short form yep we can make link link equals slash the url address urls we say urls yeah plus yeah uh, this post for instance this post uh, let's see which one it is the post that we received is my news okay and let's see so we can use this dot over here so that it would be URLs or slash the random number or send this link or any other variable all right let's see we say link link we send the link and here rather than making a string name we just need to say link okay uh, all right now we refresh the page of course we got an error let's see why the error occurred uh, okay we forgot something the code that we have here the randoms are integer yeah we need to change them to text yeah and refresh the page now it contains our link that we have made urls plus our random name now we can make this link in the news detail short uh, so that so that we so that in my uh, so that in any way it is shown under any conditions whether 
to the short link or the main body of the news this link is made and is sent to template and we use it here so that's for QR code that can receive any link or data that you wish